Hey guys, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on how to uh, upload files that your remote tuner may be sending you and how to uh, quickly retrieve data logs. So starting off, if your tuner has sent you a new file, you need to be connected to your ECU. As you can see down here in the bottom left corner, ECU connected, and you need to go to File, need to go to Upload Map. Now this is gonna bring up a window and you need to locate the tune file from your tuner. So I'm gonna just use this last file for my personal car here and click Open. Once, uh, you know, the, the least amount of changes is gonna, you know, happen really, really fast. Uh, if there's a lot of changes, it's gonna take a little bit longer but you'll be able to see in the bottom status bar down here uh, what the status is on the upload. It should also bring up a window in the center of the screen to upload the new tune. But once it's completely finished, the window will automatically go away. It'll say connected and this little green bar right here will be all the way to the, to the right. Now sometimes whenever you're loading changes, there'll be like a little bitty air gap right between the edge of the green and the edge of that bar right there and that means it's still uploading. However, when the green bar is all the way full, that means it's currently uploaded and it's not uh, buffering any changes uh, to the ECU. So that's how you upload a tune file. Now let's uh, pull a data log file. Most of you guys are using the PC logger. Uh, you know, I'll record one real quick. In order to uh, pull the log, once you're finished, you'll click stop obviously, uh, and go to options, and you'll click export to file. And you'll wanna log, or uh, label this as PC log, we're just gonna do a PC log ABC just for demonstration purposes. And you'll click save. Now you'll wanna take note of the directory that you're saving this to, that way uh, whenever you go to send this data log file to your tuner uh, that you can locate it easily and make sure you actually upload the correct data log. You know, because if you obviously send the tuner the wrong data log, he's going to be trying to correct your tune based off the wrong information. So uh, with the Haltech, depending on the options and stuff that are enabled in your tune, you'll always want to file save as your current tune file and you'll want to send that tune file along with the comma separated variable or the CSV data log file. This way, uh, you know, the tuner has a current tune that was running on the car that created that data log. Uh, now the reason you want to send the tune file every time, uh, I don't have it enabled on mine, but uh, sometimes, you know, for remote tunes especially, uh, I will, enable long-term fuel trims. So, and you'll see, I'll go back to a window here. You'll see long-term fuel trims, you know, it's, it's kind of learned some information that is pertinent to the tune file. So whenever they open the current tune file, all this learned information is current and up to date. Whereas a tune file that he may have sent you would be zeroed out uh, because he would have previously, or she, uh, the tuner would have previously made adjustments to clear all these fuel trims out and applied it to your actual main fuel table. So in order to make sure the tuner has the current information, you wanna save the current tune file that's in the ECU and uh, send that information to him along with the data log. So make sure tune file and the CSV data log file uh, is what you email. Uh, you'll also want to make sure that you have all the channels on your display. There's two different ways to data log on the PC logger. If you click on this channels list right here, you'll see up here, it brings up a setup window. It says you can use the page layout channels, meaning everything that you've got laid out on this screen, all these parameters, uh, if it's displayed on the screen, it's going to data log it. 
Otherwise, you can uncheck this and click Add Remove Channels, and you can go down and highlight and select all the individual channels that are available that you want to data log. Now this is gonna be a tuner specific thing because uh, they might want you to data log a certain you know, parameter that you might not have displayed. So uh, that's where you'll get with your tuner to actually select the, the parameters that you're actually gonna log. Now sometimes you'll see that there's another, uh, which mine's an Elite 2500T, uh, so you'll see the ECU, ECU user logging that's gonna be your internal data logger. So I've got mine set up that anytime I go above 75% uh, throttle, um, it'll actually turn that internal data logger on. So what you'll wanna do uh, once there's data available, so you're gonna, maybe you're gonna do wide open throttle pulls for the tuner. Uh, this is a data log that you'll wanna send back to him uh, because it's only gonna have the wide open throttle information and it's gonna have all the channels that he has pre-selected in your tune file to data log and at what rate, et cetera. So if there's specific channels that he wants data log, it's already in the tune file in this channel list uh, for him to data log. So make sure that you do the same thing, export. You wanna export it to file and uh, save that as a file uh, that's you know labeled internal data log or something. Uh, that way he knows she knows, the tuner knows uh, what the data log file is for and what it's from. So that covers a little bit of uh, how to uh, pull data logs and how to save tunes and upload tunes in your Haltech.